As Nigeria enters the most crucial stages of its campaign cycle, a video has surfaced online showing the moment a sensitive drama sprang up between the vice presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Yusuf Dati Baba Ahmed, and the Minister for Works and Housing, Babatunde Raji Fashola, at a public lecture on leadership recently. While giving his lecture, the former Lagos State Governor Fashola stated that despite the fact that he has some frontline candidates in the race for the presidency, he believes that as far as certain leadership qualities were concerned, only one candidate was best qualified for the job. The leadership and service conversation, because we are still looking for leaders, are we not? Hello? We are looking for who will reduce the price of food, are we? Who will secure us? Who will provide jobs? Let's have that conversation and water and power and housing. You see, you see how we have evolved? From single foragers, all of us are now looking for somebody to carry the load. Not so, let's go forward. So in the circumstances of our current political transition and the leadership and service conversation, it will be pertinent to speak about the choices of leadership that now lie ahead of us as a people. As we look towards making a choice between frontline and perhaps not too frontline candidates, I find an interesting parallel between some of the frontline candidates, and I call them frontline in quotes. So you have your own views who is frontline, I have my own views who is frontline. So let us not disagree about frontline. But for my own frontline candidates, they were all elected as governors of different states and they have served eight years in the respective states except one of them who was elevated to higher office. Solve the riddle. <laughs> it will seem logical therefore to look at what they have done in their states and in the elevated offices that has had a national impact. Don't forget, national impact too. And if you like, something that meets the Azinge standard for qualification for grants, that is, quote, something significant, something enduring, something practical, and something impactful. Is that not the Azinge standard? It seems to me that only one candidate will meet the Azinghi standard. When we look at the work of the frontline candidates as qualifications for choosing them in the next general elections. So this candidate championed the first ever state government bond for infrastructure. This candidate was the first to enact a state internal revenue service agency law boost internal revenue generation, which many states have now adopted and applied. This candidate also pioneered the reform of outdoor advertising through state legislation to create outdoor advertising agencies. This has been replicated in many states. Quite interestingly, when it was his time to deliver his lecture, Yusuf Dati Baba Ahmed the running mate to Peter Obi of the Labour Party decided to tackle the minister by pointing out that he has somehow forgotten to mention in his speech that university students were at home for eight months and that the dollar current exchange rates is over 750 naira. Very good lecture here today. This lecture was conspicuous as well as much as it was interesting. We heard about the bridges, the percent reduction in time. However, it is so interesting that we didn't hear about the eight months ASU strike. <laughs> no politics, no. Uh, Fashola is my boss. 
we didn't hear about the Naira now costing above, uh, the dollar costing above 750 Naira, which I warned us against. Speaking about roads, my boss also didn't speak about the Abuja Kano Expressway, which practically nothing has been done about it. A leader should always be balanced. We are introducing. I am balancing that lecture. That lecture was very, very good. Yes, when you get academic and academics are listening to you, that lecture was very good. Human society has evolved. Leadership has evolved. Adam was a leader to Eve. Your Eminence, I am entering your... David was a leader. Solomon was a leader. Moses was a leader. They never gave themselves national honors themselves. Their legacies stood for them. This is what I'm saying. Whatever you do, however much you enforce it by force, legacies will stand the test of time. Misrule will never stand the test of time. We have the fate of the country going forward truly lies in the outcome of next year's general elections.